In this tutorial, we will be downloading, installing, and configuring Tomcat 8.5 for Windows 10. For my YouTube students, this slideshow is part of a YouTube playlist. A link to the playlist will be listed in the description of this lesson. All source code for this playlist will be available for free in a GitHub repository. These steps will be our overall guideline. First, we will download the Windows 64 zip file. We will unzip it in our C drive. Then we will run Tomcat 8.5 from our command line. And then we will confirm setup through the admin UI. So let's go to the Tomcat download page. This is the Apache Tomcat 8.5 download page. So we will go down to the core zip file downloads and download the 64-bit Windows zip file. Save it. Show in folder. And we'll right click and extract all. We will extract it in our base C drive. There we have it extracted, Apache Tomcat 8546. We'll open it up and uh, what we have to do now is add the Tomcat bin to our path. So we'll have to go to our environment variables. Environment variables, path, edit, new. We enter Tomcat to our path. Click OK, click OK. Now we will run it from the command line. Actually, before we do that, I believe there's another Tomcat environment variable called Catalina Home that we can also set up. This is actually my old installation. Say OK. Now we will reopen the command line. Looks like it's been set up correctly. We go into the bin directory of the Tomcat home directory. And here we see we've got special DOS command files called batch files that we can use to start and stop our server. So let's start Tomcat with startup.bat. It opens the Tomcat in another window and it says it's been started up. So let's go to our browser now. And this is our Tomcat homepage. It looks good. It looks like Tomcat has been installed. Let's go to our manager apps. And it needs a username and password. Cancel out. And here it gives us a 401 unauthorized and a useful message that says we still have to set up the users in the tomcat users.xml in order to access the manager app so that is exactly what we will do next for example to add the manager ui role to a user named tomcat with a password of secret add the following to the config listed above so let's stop tomcat from the command line Now let's see if we can get into the manager app. And we're in. So we've set up Tomcat and we've set up the admin UI manager with a login name. And that concludes this lesson.